Well, emergency rooms like this one see overdoses every single day, some of them unfortunately fatal. Now the researchers believe they can stick needles in people's arms to keep people from sticking needles in their own arms. Addiction is seen as a disease by medical professionals everywhere. Now, promising new research aims to take that one step further. So if we want to treat addiction just like any other disease, we should treat it just like any other disease. University of Washington psychiatry professor Marco Prevatoni is part of a project developing a vaccine to stop addiction in its tracks. Uh, patients will develop antibodies that are selective for the target drug. So, for example, we can immunize against uh, fentanyl. The ability to immunize for opioids, just like we do for COVID-19, would mean fewer accidental overdoses, especially with the explosion of deadly fentanyl pills masquerading as Oxycontin on the streets. Something like a vaccine would provide an extended uh, safety net. In 2020, there were 70,000 overdose deaths in America, the vast majority of them to opioids. Here in Washington alone, there were more than 1,800 deaths, a 33% increase from the year before. Fingers are, my fingers are crossed. John Stevens is the former CEO of the groundbreaking Dijwalich Treatment Center on the Swinomish Indian Reservation. Since its opening in 2017, the center has more than doubled its capacity to 500 patients, which still isn't meeting our community's needs. Stevens says many people find it hard to get to treatment. Many more simply refuse to go. So a vaccine could be a game changer. So a vaccine could certainly fill a huge niche in the public health epidemic, and it would be a very, very good thing for a lot of people. UW is now partnering with Columbia University for clinical trials with the hope that a vaccine could be fast-tracked like the COVID vaccine. Ten years ago, I would never have been dreaming that I would be sitting here on, on a clinical trial. Uh, and so if that's possible, I think, you know, anything is possible. Unfortunately, an addiction vaccine is no quick fix. Even if it is fast-tracked, it likely wouldn't be able to come to market for at least five years. Live and ever tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.